Hi, I'm Mindy Burgoyne, and this is Fridays in the Graveyard. I love a graveyard, don't you? I'm in Chincoteague, Virginia today. Chincoteague is a beach community that is located on Virginia's southern coast. It's right next to Assateague Island, which is famous for its wild ponies. Um, but back when Virginia was a colony, Chincoteague Island was rooted in the heritage of agriculture and the maritime industries, much like everything on the eastern shore. And I'm in a cemetery, which is very, very different. Uh, for one thing, if you take a look at what you see behind me, that's all of the cemetery. That's Chandler Cemetery, and the only grave in it is Captain Joshua Chandler. It's right here on the side of the road. Uh, Captain Joshua Chandler has been kind of a mystery. There's been stories associated with him meeting Richard Wagner and um, having a, one of Wagner's librettos secretly buried under the tombstone. I think it was in an article written in the Chincoteague Beacon in 2014 and published on April Fool's Day. I'll leave that to you. Um, you can see the tokens people have left behind. It is kind of a grave of mystery. But we do know a little bit about Captain Joshua Chandler, and much of this is thanks to the genealogy and heritage of the Eastern Shore Facebook page and Betty Devine. Um, she researched it and published a lot of this information. Joshua Chandler was born in 1829 in Roxana, Delaware, not too far from here. He never learned to read or write. He spent some time working as a printer's apprentice and in the maritime industries, pretty standard for this area. Um, he married. Um, he had four children. One of his children uh, passed away at age two. Um, and then he went into the Union Army. In 1862, he enlisted in the Union Army, served for two years. He got out of the Union Army, had another child, his youngest child, who was a daughter. And somewhere around 1872, when he's about 43 at this time, he picks up his whole family, that by this time is three sons and a daughter and his wife, and he moves to Chincoteague. And when they came to Chincoteague, we know that he operated a schooner, and an oyster dredger, he was a captain, and they worked in those, you know, maritime industries. They lived here. And after they lived here about five years, the, there was a storm. They were out on Cat's Bay, not too far from where I'm standing now, and lightning hit the schooner and it killed Captain Chandler. He was 47. It didn't harm the other two boys that were with him, his two youngest sons, but it did disable the boat and they had to pull it back to shore. And it was his youngest son, Eve, who picked up his father's body and carried it to his mother, that lifeless body. And then Captain Chandler was buried in this place. Now, about six months after that, the whole family picks up and goes back to Delaware. And so it ends up that he's the only one resting here. They've got a nice little uh, sign dedicated to him. One lone grave in the Chandler Cemetery. But there's a great respect for sea captains um, and people like Joshua Chandler here on the island. So this grave represents a lot more than just Captain Chandler. It's the life they led and the sometimes tragic end that they came to because of the life they led. Now the epitaph on this grave is very gripping. It's, it's actually on a lot of graves. For its time, this wasn't an uncommon epitaph. It's farewell, my wife and children dear. I am not dead, but sleeping here. As I am, someday you'll be. Prepare for death and follow me. Back in the day, 1877, death was always around the corner. Mortality was very, very present. And people looked at death a little bit differently. Uh, but as I said, this grave is revered. It's the only grave here. But look at what's on top of it. If you can see, it might adjust the light a little bit. You can see that the grave has coins all over it, pennies and shells. And some of the shells have inscriptions. So it's a tribute not only to Captain Chandler, but the life of all sea captains and islanders. So may he rest in peace. This is Mindy Burgoyne. This is Fridays in the Graveyard. I'll see you next week.